Hello everyone, this is uh, BoomerRx coming to you with the Steam beta test day 2 of the new game called The Descendants with an un currently unknown release date. Uh, as you can see, I'm playing as uh, one of the three starting Descendants, uh, Lepic. Uh, I would have liked to show you guys the beginning, but my uh, data file corrupted, so I wasn't able to give that to you. Uh, what you missed was the uh, uh, Kingston uh, starting area, the, those main story missions, and, and half of the next area's story missions. If you would like me to create another video with those going over maybe a different character, I'd be more than willing to, as I've been thinking of different builds and ideas for the other descendants available. Anyway, welcome back and let's get straight to it. So, so far I have about four-ish hours in the game now. And so far I've been seeing a lot of comparisons to a lot of other games that I've played in the past, like Destiny 2, Destiny 1, the Division series, as one of my friends pointed out to me uh, just recently, as well as, um, oh man, what was the name of that, that game? It's a, um, oh uh, yeah, the um, Borderlands series. As you can see from the inventory screen, this gives you a lot of Borderlands vibes. Four equipment slots, three to four uh, weapon slots. I'll get more in, into that in a little bit. Uh, this is the main hub area. I just simply ran, ran over to the weapon stealer. Cool thing even cooler. Sadly, he is only selling your th the three starting weapons, which are all level ones. Um, however, you can s sell stuff, uh, make lots of m money uh, very quickly. Uh, where I'm running off to here is uh, Xenia, I believe is how you pronounce her name. Um, she is how you actually unlock other characters. Like for example, Bunny uh, uh, is one is one of the ones that is freely given to you with the bait with the bait test, allowing you to have up to four uh, descendants. I believe others are available for to get. You can either purchase it, them through normal means of crafting or with one of the unique resources called Caliber. I believe this is their version of uh, Destiny's silver currency. Um, like it's a premium currency. I haven't found out a consistent way of getting it. I do know some missions and some quests have it have it as a has it as a guarantee. Uh, drop uh, as I've gotten it from this random uh, terminal here. Um, but currently, at the moment, I, I, I lose some weight, don't you think? Uh, I haven't found any other ways. Uh, like, for example, this was one of the like welcome. Welcome vents, giving you like a uh, unique emote. Uh, this right here is a unique resource for the runes, which I'll be getting into very shortly here. And then gold is one of the basic currencies used for purchasing all different types. So to get into just a quick rundown of inventory and uh, consumables, uh, there are multiple different weapon types in the game. There are uh, there are submachine guns, assault rifles, handguns, machine guns, tactical rifles, beam rifles, hand cannon, scout rifles, sniper rifles, launchers, and shotguns. And as you can see here, you have six different types of runes. Each rune has a unique modifier. Like for example, this one here does maximum uh, maximum capacity of ammo. Uh, there's also different types of ammo, which I'll be getting into shortly. Uh, you can also add different types of elemental uh, damages. For example, this adds electrical damage as a percentage of the weapon's actual attack damage. Uh, you, your reload speed, fire rate, 
attack damage as percentage, uh, fire rate, uh, fire rate decreases, our uh, fire rate, uh, their fire rate, and this is uh, attacking against electrocuted enemies, which really synerg- you can really get like some amazing synergies here. Like for example, this one applies electric damage, which then which then can cause electrocution as a possible proc, and then this one synergizes well with that adding it additional attack damage now you can uh you start out with five four or five rune slots but you as you progress and level up you can increase your capacity for the number of runes as well as your rune capacity here is actually based off a of number which is represented by this number here in the upper right hand corner uh, also, there are different tiers, like for example, this one is of Enhancement Level 2. You can spend some of that uh, unique resource uh, called Quilipodium. I'm probably butchering that. But this is one of the resources that is used for Rune Enhancements. Which uh, Rune Enhancements can uh, increase the percentages that are attached to the room like i believe this room started out as a 5.2 percent attack and a 0.7 percent fire rate and now it's 2.7 and 10.8 percent it also can decrease the amount of capacity required for that specific room so if you have a room that you really like that has like multiple buffs on it um I, let me see if i can find it find a very good example of one of those types of runes uh like for example, um, I apologize. Like, for example, this one here. This one is for shotguns. It increases shell capacity, crosshair cross, uh, cross size, and recoil. Uh, decreases the crosshair size and recoil. Um, this one would be a perfect one to keep and enhance over time as it has multiple buffs on it that can be benefited by enhancements while other ones that have only singles like for example this one is only a fire rate increase might not be the best ones to prioritize your uh, enhancements of. So the la and each rune is attached to certain weapons. Storms are submachine guns, assault rifles, handguns, torrents are machine guns, tactical rifles, which are like your example of a Destiny 2 Pulse Rifle, uh, three to four round bursts, beam rifles, uh, hand cannons, yes hand cannons and handguns are two completely different things. Handguns are like your standard uh, pistols, while a hand cannon is like a revolver. Uh, while scout ri uh, you got scout rifles and hand cannons for Tide, Thunder Runes are sniper rifles and launchers while haze runes are only shotguns. Now, launchers are kind of like a weird um, a weird weapon type that I'm still trying to rack my head around. Um, at, the, at the moment, they're closely related to a large-scale grenade launcher. It's the best way that I can describe it. It just shoots out these giant projectiles, but they have a very high drop-off. As you can also see, each uh, rune has a different capacity associated with it, and each rune type also has a different capacity. Like for example, this one, <laughs> like previously, has a capacity of 15, so it takes up 15 points of this. That's why these two slots are empty. Um, I could add more here if I had the if I had the capacity to add them. However, enhancing this. Uh, will decrease the amount it requires, thus allowing me to add more mods to it. One thing that I uh, one thing that I do like is in fact this rune system here because it's like you have this the Devil's Call. This is a this is a level nine uh, tier uh, tier two uh, submachine gun. Now level nine makes sense to me. Tier two, I believe, is their variant of a rarity system uh, where you got tier one, which is your like blue, that's your like rare. I believe tier two is representing, is representing like legendary, while uh, tier three, I believe, is your like legendary types of weapons. And those normally are like of a gold background. 
Um, like for example, with this submachine gun here, you get your DPS, the types of rounds it uses, rounds per magazine, fire rate, running speed, uh, different types of weapons if you have them out, do modify the character's running speed. Attack is the actual damage that is being that is on an individual shell basis. Um, uh, I apologize. I I need to take this um, message. Sorry about that. I'm in my uh, senior year of college, uh, and that that was regarding one of my classes. Uh, for the gun here, uh, submachine gun, we uh, those blue stats on the bottom are unique roles for the gun itself. As you can have multiple copies of the gun itself, but those fo those four stats are different. Um, what I've noticed is that on tier two weapons. They have anywhere from three to four perks, while um, while a tier one, for example, if I have it, there we go. Uh, this tier one here only has two. Um, I believe legendaries can have five to six, but I have yet to have a legendary drop for me. Uh, also going in in here, there's two different types of leveling systems, uh, where you you have your mastery rank. I'll get into that that shortly, and then you have your base level. Your base level is attached to your char character itself, and this uh, and that is basically tied to your strategy, uh, to your uh, to your character skills. After a certain level, you uh, each level is unlocked as a certain tier, and then continuing to level up the character levels up individual skills like decreasing cost, decreasing cooldown, increasing damage. Um, like for example, with my grenade skill here, uh, at level two, it's 120% explosive damage at six meter radius. At level one, I believe it was 100% at three meter radius. So um, each skill uh, gets slowly modified as you are um, as you upgrade your character. Um, levels are also tied are also tied individually to your different uh, players. So like for example. <laughs> Are you ready to if I were to, um, uh, if you say were, if I were to start on Bunny, Bunny would be level one. However, I would be able to utilize the weapons that are currently Strategy. I have on Lepic. Something interesting to take into account. Uh, the last thing that, that I should probably go over before going over uh, mastery rank is uh, your descendant runes, which is modifying your skills. Maximum HP, maximum shields, uh, mana. Mana is, uh, is for your abilities. Uh, you can also get your like percentage uh, for defense. Uh, and then also you have melee attack runes. Melee attack runes are free. This just modifies your melee abilities. Um, so going into this. Um, these two, these two terminals, well, this guy here and then that terminal over there are for, uh, special world events, uh, which have different Under levels. Reach. So this is what they call the Ageless Reach, or the Mastery Ranking, which is separate from your character ranking. Um, and this one, like it, like it says here, at Mastery Rank 5, Weapon room capacity plus two, descendant room capacity plus one. Uh, this is now that capacity is the is how is the amount of points available to you, and then equipment inventory plus two. Uh, you start out with the oh, that's interesting. Someone actually has a different descendant um, than the than the four that they give to you. It you can get other descendants. It's not impossible. Uh, it's just a very long and grindy process. It's probably one of the one things that I say is the most grindy out of anything in the game currently at the moment.
Um, it's running very smoothly. Don't say the word. Do you want uh, for new? me, like for example, that person that just teleported was Glay. Um, I'm looking at Blair. He's the the pyrokinetic guy who just wants to light the whole world on fire. Um, over here. We have uh, Cylon, uh, he can enhance runes, like for example this one adds a flame attack, as you can see it goes from 3.2 to 5.8, but it requires that qui Quilopithium, Quilopithium. Um, you can also dismantle runes, um, like I can sort it by uh, quantity, it would give me like a duplicate. Uh, you can dismantle runes, so if you have like multiple of the same types of runes, or you never ever ever equip a rune, and it's just completely useless for the build that you're trying, you can dismantle it for that some of the resource. You can also combine runes, so if you have four, uh, four runes that you want to just say combine together, you can combine them and roll for a different rune of a different tier. Um, but it does require four to combine and some gold, which is the base currency. Um, that pretty much covers the the main uh, hub area, and we can go over to the map. So that's this is just the map of the main area. That's located here. Void intercept at battles are your main boss battles, um, and each one is at a different level. These are tough battles. I have yet to do one as I'm just going to take my time go th go through the uh, story missions. Uh, as you can see here, we got Kingston and the Albany Mountains. I believe there's going to be one other area available for the beta test. I believe it is this one located over here. Uh, however, I'm not 100% sure. But as you can see, there are there are quite a lot of areas that are being added, um, and if you take like a speculative guess about these if you scroll all the way off to the side you can probably guess that there's probably going to be more added in the future kingston this is the area that i conducted yesterday on day one i did have i did record all of these missions here here you can see like the little linear progress that i did i did actually conduct all of these missions but sadly the data is corrupted uh, once you complete all the missions in an area you get access to a consecutive survival which is which is just survive multiple waves uh, over time with increasingly more difficult enemies and you get these materials. I am not 100% sure what these materials are. I have yet to do a survival. Uh, one thing to add, field options simply states that if you do public, you get thrown into, a, into an area with, with at maximum three other people who are also public in that area. Great way just to do some quick matchmaking. If you're lucky, you guys are all doing the same mission and you're just running through everything. Or for example, say load up this, uh, this uh, the camps are your like little waypoints. Load up this waypoint, fast travel location, stand by the king consecutive survival on public, wait for a couple people. You can also chat with them in the local area saying, hey, do you want to do the survival? Yes or no, stuff like that. Um, for for the moment, I'm going to have it set, set to uh, private, and we're going to go to the Albany Mountains. As you can see here, I also conducted some of the Albany Mountains uh, quests. I got there's quite a lot in this area. I'm nowhere near done, um, but I believe my next mission is this one located right here. So we're going to set to private. And we're going fast travel. Um, by far, I would have to say one of the most laggiest parts of the game is by far the loading screens, but that makes sense. It's a new game, it's beta. Uh, it does take quite a while for these load, load screens. Um, I, if For the people out there who are curious, I'm running on a 10700HK Intel I, um, i9. Oh, and it crashed interesting um day two has been having these weird loading issues um uh it's all over their discord um which they say anyone can join uh and 
it's a great great resource for people who want who are trying to like match make with other with other people um let's see if i can load this back up uh it's a great resource for people who want to like match make or watch other people play get, get tips tricks chat with the uh, developers get q and a their q and a is a little is a little slow um but they do eventually respond to you but one thing that they've been telling uh the community is that day two they were running into a couple bugs we uh, detected a bulgus fleet moving toward the albany mountains judging from seneca's analysis we're confident they're carrying the heart of iron with them and descended that's not our only concern there was a short but strong energy signal detected by the dispatch team then nothing we've lost track of the heart of iron the last known coordinates located at the cemetery of the nameless southeast from vespers please find it but um one thing that i did notice about the game is that it's a it, that Our lag is is prevalent the throughout the entire game Um, especially when you're like zoomed in on enemies, it's uh, they can be quite fuzzy and a little laggy, agents, especially at range when they when they're not fully the loaded in. So if they succeed, it could cause this world to collapse. There will be no coming back. So at quite long ranges, you can be a little. It can be a little tricky. You can see how, how their name tags are, are a little jittery. And I'm level 16. We're not the heart of iron. We In the meantime, you should take care of those enemies. Descendant, can you hear me? You're starting to lose signal. Hurry up and finish. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention are, is that there's four different types of ammo types. There are general rounds, enhanced rounds, uh, impact rounds, and high power rounds. Uh, scout rifles, uh, you use impact rounds, for example. Uh, shotguns use high power as well as sniper rifles. Uh, enhanced rounds are, to my knowledge, tactical rifles and handguns. Hand cannons, I, uh, use impact rounds, assault rifles, submachine guns, and machine guns use general rounds, uh, launchers use high power rounds. Uh, it, they clearly state which one they use, but they can be a little bit confu uh, confusing over time. Oh, I did not mean to press that. I accidentally alt tabbed. Um, By far, one of my favorite guns so far is the scout rifle. It just, as you can see, it just feels good if I can aim. That was a unique enemy type right there. Called a bomber. They're like suicide. So Lepic is like your is like your good old Lepic's like your good old fashioned soldier character. Uh, good good all around build, uh, balances health health and shield pretty well. Um, more focused, more focused. Oh, let me reload here. Um, so my Q skill is a grenade, as as you see, uh, saw before. Um, here's an example. Uh, my V ability there is a back is like a vacuum grenade. Uh, C. 
Uh, C um, modifies your skills. Uh, modifies your skills ever so slightly, where uh, where the C ability will grant a burn effect to your grenade, as well as increasing grenade grenade damage. So it's good to like like throw your um throw your if you have enough MP, throw the vacuum grenade quickly. Act well, activate your C ability, throw the vacuum grenade, and then throw your grenade at the vacuum. Creates a devastating explosion, and anything that that actually survives. The back the heart of iron is um, over here. I might be able to. If I have enough built. Okay, that guy's big. I you can reloading. Shotguns are by far great weapons to use when you have the ability to. Get them close to you. There is actually a damage fall off in this uh, in this game, uh, which is stated uh, in the weapon tool tip. So far, I've seen I'm pretty like well-rounded uh, different types of enemies that that the game's throwing at you. Like there are no. Grappling hook, one of the unique fe features that originally draw uh, uh, drawed me to the descendant. Uh, well, the first descendant. Um, I always get the name mixed up. I've been just shortening it to descendant now. The heart of iron was just here. Reloading. They must have moved it after spotting us. Oh, this is a capture. There's an example. I vacuumed them all up and then just killed them with one grenade. It is quite, quite a powerful. That is a unique enemy type. Uh, gold bars are unique enemies that have special modifiers on them, like HP increase and then that thing. I'm not exactly sure what that warp does. I mean, focus a little bit here. Melee is a little finicky. I can't aim it properly yet. Need to reload. Not a also, the grenade is a, is proximity. If you were wondering. What? Can't hear you. Hey, don't do that. Hey, don't do that. Changing mag. Oh. Did I kill everything before I captured it? Okay. That's different. Um, but yeah. As you can see, those are all, that's all different types of loot. The gun, armor mod. Uh, each one represents a different type of armor mod. Like, there's an enemy behind. Also, loot drops at different, at completely different levels. This is good. C is your super, and I'm about to die. You do regen health and shield, but out of combats, and I'm not not sure exactly what 
what the time frame is for that. Let's move. You get two. Ch you get two charges of, of grapple, and then it recharges. Um, the range for the grapple, also, not a hundred percent sure what it is. I'm still trying to get, rack my brain around that. Down. And more. Kill the dangerous ones and move on. Define dangerous. The woman talking is one is one of the uh, main main characters that helps you out in the mission. Um, this is also uh, four player. Uh, drop in, drop out, uh, co-op. That guy took three shots. Oh, that's what they meant. The high, the high health bar enemies killed them, and then everyone else despawns. That's a little, a little bit annoying. Halflings are like your version of uh, is like this game's version of a Halo grunt. And they're annoying, and there's a lot of them. Yeah, see? Not 100% sure what, what that grapple is. There's also a double jump in the game. There is no crouch mechanic. And there you go. You also have guaranteed, guaranteed rewards from the missions. Oh. But this game, I have I have to give it to the developers. It is looking amazing. But let's but now we get the fun part of going over loop. Uh there we go, comparison tool on. I never had enough health. Oh, this is very good. Thank you. That defense defense is, um, is your is your armor like twelve hundred and thirty four defense. Uh, that's your main armor uh, in the game. This is also um, why it is that I hit W and tapped up. Uh, it gives you breakdown of different weapons that you have, have available to you, and there are breakdowns here. Um, here we go. Attack drop off starting distance is, for example, with the submachine gun is 2,000, uh, while at 15,000 it does not, no damage at all. Shotgun is 500. 15,000 is when it completely dead. So you could technically shoot pretty far with the shotgun, but it's not going to do anything. And then, and then you got your scout rifle here which is 5,000 and 15,000 uh secondaries running speed movement while aiming movement speed while not not aiming crosshair crosshair while aiming uh indicates the crosshair size smaller crosshair more accurate shots sprint speed uh and then general round rounds ratio indicates the maximum num number of own general rounds General rounds is just because I, I have the submachine gun. If I were to switch off, uh, it would give me like impact rounds. Uh, While well, this is high power rounds. Uh, you also, there's also, these are the three main types of damage. Uh, some descendants have unique damage types to them specifically, like the strategy. Where is she? You want to get through this? Uh, Do as I say. Freyna here has like a uh, vampiric poison type skills, uh, which does demonic attacks. 
even though it's poison. So that's like this game's variant of poison damage is demonic damage, which is interesting. So you got your four different types of resistances, uh, fire, ice, electric, demonic, or poison, however you, you would like to word it. Uh, and then this is your MP recovery out of combat, shield recovery out of combat, max shield, max, max MP, max, max HP. As you can see, I'm specking heavy into HP and not shields. That might bite me in the butt, like in that one encounter there when I got that, where the heavy boss was just focus firing me. Uh, and then defense is your damage mitigation. But time to go over the fun part and weapons. Uh, do you forgive me if I'm if I'm a little bit quiet during this time uh, during this period? I just read through everything very carefully. So the sniper rifles are actually good. I just need a good burst weapon of some kind. I can trash. That can trash. Uh, are you good? Nope. New shotgun. Nineteen sixty, sixteen seventy four. Nope. Um, fourteen oh six, fourteen oh six. Are these identical? Fire rate, max shield. Now, technically, this one is better than this one. Not comparing it to the scout rifle, of course. Just comparing them to each other. This, even though they do the exact same DPS, they're they're the exact same gun. But looking at their at their uh, secondary skills, I guess you could call them. This one has attack defense percentage, while this one's fire rate and max shield. I would take the attack defense over the over this one. Uh, right clicking uh, marks a item for junk. You can either delete junk, which does nothing, or you can uh, wait and go back to the tower or the they call it Albion. Sorry, I'm I play a lot of Destiny two, so I want to subconsciously call it tower. Um, go back to Albion. And you can sell the sell this for gold. Max HP, max HP, thirteen ten. I can get rid of you and you. Okay. Did we pick up any new runes? Of course we did. Adds demonic attack. Adds just flat attack. Uh. I haven't found a difference between uh, different types of attacks and if they do more damage to certain enemies or not. Uh, however, what I did notice is, are these types of mods here. If you have this one, like for example, you have um, attack against poisoned enemies plus 5.8%. This is amazing if you do poison damage. Like with Freyna, who just automatically does poison damage on enemies. This is perfect. Poison the enemies, and then this will just increase your attack damage. While, um, while if you have, say, a round type skill, like the, or if you have a round type rune like this one, which adds demonic attacks to your weapons, this would be perfect. Uh, if this was poison and you had this one, these two would synergize. Or if this one was like, I don't know what it would be called, obsessed. This is obsessed with poison, so I'm just going to make a wild guess here. And it's going to be like obsessed with demonic. Or uh, actually, no, I'm, I'm a dork. Um, demonic damage is in fact poison damage. Um, at least that's what I'm guessing because I haven't found a specific like poison modifier. It, it that's the one thing that's confusing me right now. Um, I can't actually equip any of these because I only have two points. Uh, and then new descendant runes. Demonic resistance plus 35%. That's that's a solid one if you if you can figure out what enemies are doing demonic uh, damage. What I've noticed is that a lot of enemies, uh, especially those like suicide uh, type enemies, do fire damage. Um, some of the heavy units also do fire damage. Uh, it's oh this is new hp leech ratio i can i don't think this character can actually do life leech 
There is, there is one like Glay. To the Vulgus, I gained power, but lost my daughter. I know. Give up my power to get her back. Oh, jeez. Um, Glay here can do. I think she can do life leeching. I'm not. There you go, life extraction. I'm not sure if that would be buffed by that. It's just something interesting to see what synergies work and don't work. Also, you don't take fall damage in this game. We spotted the bolt transporting the heart of iron towards the west. There is a dimension gate connected to old Graveblocker nearby. The, this is an example of fast travel point. You just simply walk next to it, it activates, it's, you can, it's pretty straightforward. However, I actually have to interact with you. Descendant, there's a camp being set up nearby. You'll find a detective there that'll tell you the whereabouts of the Vulcan transportation fleet. A horde of Vulcan troops are headed towards the camp. Secure the site. Then we'll continue tracking down the Heart of Iron. As you can see, I'm love scout rifles. That's when melee actually worked on my side that time. Yes. Defense. Before they did. Secure the detector. Ah, uh, oh, there's an enemy over here doing uh, like a leech type skill. Yeah, it was the bomber that did it. Reloading. That boss in me is currently. See, that enemy is doing fire damage, and it hurts a lot. Also, on the, ma on the mini map in the upper left hand corner, uh, you get like a kind of like, like, um, like a pie shape, shape style, uh, motion tracker. From the detector. Enemy forces identified nearby. Lots of good loot there. Glowing gold, that's an example of like a rare resource that's used Even in if crafting. Arrives, they won't attack immediately. Like um, like some missions have unique rewards that are crafting materials. Um, I haven't found like a consistent way to get them, but then again, I'm not really worried about like the meta for like grind, uh, grinding certain materials. There's a Vulgus control device nearby. Use it to discover the location of their transportation fleet. Very big open, open bad. environments. Reloading. Need 
to reload. Lots of enemies. Wow, this is the first time I might actually die here. I have actually yet to die. And I think it's due to that high power sniper. Someone, there he is. Can you can you use your uh, gra grappling hook in melee? Um, no, you can't melee a, an enemy target. However, the big uh, like boss colossus types enemies, the uh, void and in interacts. Yes, they can be grappled. Uh, it's a mechanic of of doing uh, like high forms of damage to them pretty consistently. Mission complete. I would love a good assault rifle right now. Oh, are you good? There we go. Good, solid, um, like assault rifle or SMG, just something that can do more consistent, high, high damage. Uh, 31 round magazine. Not bad, actually. Uh, new shotgun? Nope. Um, tactical? Nope. Uh, are you? Demonic attack. Rounds in the magazine. Solid damage increase. That's a good. That's a good upgrade right there. It's always good just to clean out your inventory every now and then. Is 
especially of duplicates. Mm -hmm. Oh, new melee type. So I've been using the shock punch, uh, dagger. Sure. Let's try out the dagger. See what that gives us. Ah, I only have two. I thought I had three. Uh, adds demonic attacks. Insight. Ah, crit hit rate. It's good to have like one of each type of rune available at your disposal in case you want to change up the change up the build um, mid game or like mid event. Gold is something that's not that's not automatically picked up at, at the end of stuff. Uh, there is a mailbox, as you saw, I checked at the very begin beginning of the video. Um, the mailbox does. Oh, that's the first time I, I saw a, a shielded enemy. Don't you think it could be a trap? We're getting to some high tier stuff if the enemies are now shielded. Well, except for the small, the, the small guys. My cam. As you can see, the, the enemies are a little stuttery. Um, that was that is kind of they said that that they patched it, but it's kind of been patched. Um, if I were to say go into op options, um, motion blur. If I turn that off. That must be the that might that help with my little on. lag problem I'm it's having. Completely broken. Looks like it was destroyed recently. There's no way that our men would have destroyed it. Investigate the area. The snipers are very powerful. I swear I thought I hit him. This is obviously a trap. Reloading. You have to get out of there now. Obviously. The dispatch team members. The focus are probably on them by now. It's our responsibility to save them. This is a very hilly area. Grappling hook is just a dispatch team mm. backpack, but no corpse. Looks like they've been taken. Oh my! Oh, that backfired terribly. Sniper on my left that I gotta deal with. Or behind. Oh my god, there's a lot to do. Ah. Uh. See, power stream level 3 right there. Whoa. 
Fine imprint? We have to ignore the signal and push What's on. that? What? We owe so much to the dispatch team. How can you just leave them to be sacrificed to those monsters? Oh, I don't care what you lag. think, Alpha. I do care about the fact that the Heart of Iron is moving further away from the Descendant as we speak. Why don't you just send someone who's close by? A patrol or a rescue team. Let them deal with it. Who's capable of fighting the Volgus? You know the dispatch teams can't do it. Ugh. <sighs> Fine, but the Descendant is only responsible for fighting off the Volgus and securing the rescue route. The transportation of any casualties will be the responsibility of the dispatch team. Agreed. That's a fair compromise. Those two have been ar ar arguing since I first uh, got into the game. That's a lot of sniper rifles. There, uh, there we go. Tame Beast is an example of a launcher. And yes, some guns do give you max HP. Now, let's see here. What are you? Component required to craft energy activators. It uses fine laser techniques to engrave certain formulas. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Tier three, these two right here, uh, gold. The uh, that's so you're like uh, exotic, I guess you could call them exotics. Um, but yeah, so far I've been loving the uh, the descendant, and I've been having an amazing blast so far. And I want to thank thank y'all for joining me and. Stay tuned for another Descendants. Thank you, and have a great rest of your day.